guys, welcome to Life of Palos. I am Aaron Palos, and welcome to another beautiful day of supercar community news for all of you. The big story today, guys, the big story today is actually Tanner Fox and his sort of relationship with doing vlogs with Daily Driven Exotics and Alex Choi. I'm sure you guys know who Tanner Fox is. He's a humongous YouTuber, millions of subscribers, uh, does his own sort of brand of stuff that ranges from cars to pranks to, you know, all sorts of different stuff. Today, we're going to talk about sort of his influence on Daily Driven Exotics vlogs and his sort of crossover into auto motive YouTube. So let's start with the obvious. Uh, Tanner Fox recently showed up in a Daily Driven Exotics vlog a couple days ago where they talked about Alex Choi's Huracan and sort of what happened to it with the turbo blowing. We all remember that mess. And honestly, it was a pretty fun vlog overall. They messed around with a straight pipe Prairie GT, did some pulls in some of their respective cars. Not a bad video whatsoever. But Tanner Fox actually got attacked in the comments pretty hard with hundreds of people liking comments that were saying, you know, like, hey, we don't want to see Tanner Fox in the videos anymore. No more of Tanner Fox. Uh, that kid is like cancer that one super extreme the uh, tanner hate got so strong it ended up getting to the point where damon himself uh responded to one of the the many comments about tanner fox sort of being whack and told everybody you know tanner is a good guy online so here's the real question is why do you guys think that tanner fox gets so much hate in the comments when he makes crossovers into other sides of youtube now before you answer that before you start typing out your comment in the comments section let's think about this rationally uh, tanner fox obviously has tapped into a much much larger portion of YouTube than what automotive YouTube generally is. Even the largest automotive YouTube channels typically are under 4 million. From the perspective of trying to grow the automotive side of YouTube, shouldn't we really enjoy it when someone like Tanner Fox decides to bring his audience over to the automotive side of YouTube? And some of his videos, the one that he did with Alex Choi, ended up getting almost a million hits. And those are people that wouldn't traditionally be sort of automotive YouTube folks. So should we be looking at this like an opportunity and not something where we want to like push back? pretty hard against someone that wouldn't traditionally be in the automotive YouTube space. And I'll be the first one to admit, I've been semi-critical of some of the ways that Tanner Fox has titled some of his videos in the past. But we all make mistakes. We all sort of do things to get views. I, I totally understand that. Should we enjoy it when someone like Tanner Fox comes over and introduces his audience, which is millions strong, much larger than Daily Driven Exotics, to the automotive YouTube space? Is this an opportunity to grow automotive YouTube beyond what it currently is? Are more collaborations like that something that we can do. Now something very similar to this happened about 11 months ago with a much more sort of controversial YouTube figure with Jake Paul where uh, you know Jake Paul had Damon do donuts in one of his music videos. Humongous video, millions of hits, uh, lots of new subscribers across the board. The hate for Jake Paul was 10 times more than what it was for Tanner Fox a few days ago. Here's what I think. The way that Tanner Fox was represented in the Daily German Exotics videos and even his own video where he had Alex Choi feature and Damon as well I think was perfectly fine. Not clickbait at all. Like, like, talked about exactly about what they were going to do. Maybe they're going to have some sort of giant YouTuber race. I thought it was really fun content. I found myself watching a Tanner Fox video because it had automotive content in it. The crossover brought me over to his channel. It doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to stay for all of his other, other videos, but I enjoyed the crossover content. I think it's an opportunity, as long as everyone remains respectful and doesn't sort of like crazy overdo it, to have more people join the automotive side of YouTube. Now, one thing I want to say is that there's a big difference between voice and displeasure about a particular personality coming onto a channel by saying we prefer not to have this person and a number of people did that uh, than saying that that kid is cancer. That's a little too extreme. It's actually, it's actually a lot too extreme for how I think we should conduct ourselves on YouTube in the comments. I mean that's too much to ask. I guess we'll have to see. But let me know what you guys think of Tanner Fox sort of dipping himself into the automotive YouTube space a little more with the collabs with Daily Driven Exotics and Alex Choi. Now on to a different sort of segment of news. Houston Crosta uh, recently did a video yesterday talking about how a valet sort of crashed his Lamborghini Huracan. It's some pretty substantial damage to the backside of the car. It sounds like it's going to be a pretty decent repair for that car. And I guess it's one of the things you deal with when you, you know, work with exotic cars in Las Vegas. Valets get crazy. They don't know what they're doing. It just sort of happens. What are you going to do? But make sure to go watch Houston Crosta's latest video if you want to see all the damage that was done by a valet to his Lamborghini. And guys, Doug DeMiro just got done reviewing the McLaren Senna, which is a phenomenal review. If you want to see all the crazy quirks and features that Doug DeMiro typically does for his videos, uh, you're going to really enjoy them with the McLaren Senna. He talks about the way that it feels when you drive and how it, just absolutely insane it is and all the really fun features that McLaren decided to install on one of their, and he called it a supercar, 
whether it's a hypercar, we'll, we'll let you guys decide in the comments. I think it's borderline. It's hard to really say. Go watch Doug DeMuro's video on the McLaren Senna. If you love supercars, if you have any love for those sort of cars, you're gonna wanna watch this review. It's a pretty special thing when Doug reviews a car like that. And if you wanna hear the story on VinWiki about how Ed Bullion got punched in the face for speeding, this is gonna be a fun story for you. VinWiki crushes it just about every day, and uh, the story of someone getting punched is really not a bad episode, so go check it out, getting punched in the face for speeding. And if you wanna know why Tavares is Mercy started out, well, he, as he described it, puking everywhere. He reveals that reason in one of his latest videos and goes into depth about all the sort of mechanical problems that you deal with when you have a Fast and Furious stunt car Lamborghini. So if you want to see the reason for why his car had such major issues lately during his rev battle, he goes into detail about all of that in his latest video. Well, that's going to do it for today, guys. In case you're wondering why my face looks like hamburger right now, it's because, uh, well, I, I do Brazilian jiu-jitsu and wrestling. I've been doing it for about 12 years, and sometimes my face gets uh, uh, smushed into the mat. We'll, we'll say that. So every once in a while I'm gonna have cuts and bruises and I think I got punched last night uh, accidentally. I can't remember exactly what happened. Grappling is a pretty crazy contact sport. A really fun thing to do. This is one of the reasons why I have a number of bruises and like different different welts all over my body. So yeah, in case you were wondering, that's the reason why. I feel like everything I talk about is in relation to when Avengers Endgame is. So uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, but I, I can't even decide if I want to do a video tomorrow because Avengers Endgame is and I feel like I'm gonna be preoccupied and I don't know, we'll have to see. I'm a giant nerd, I have tons of Avengers stuff, I really enjoy the movies, I've heard it's really good. Uh, yeah, don't spoil it for anybody on the channel, please. If you guys have seen some of the leaks and spoilers that have gone out, please don't do that. Uh, anyway, have a wonderful day, guys. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Yes, Wednesday. And we'll catch you guys tomorrow, hopefully. Bye. <laughs>